Welcome to the Wally Show Aftercast. Those things we didn't get to during the show today, uh, including some train to the wreck well, uh, we that got you guys here. didn't see. We got well, here by the skin of our teeth. Yeah, because if you listen to the other podcast, which is the show, then you didn't get to hear it. We had a, Gavin was out, and Gavin usually works on things behind the scenes that I don't have to mess with and with the computers. And when they go nuts, they go nuts. And so we had gone through the first hour, two hours of the show, everything's fine. And then everything went crazy and and broke and that we were off the air and bosses are in here and everyone's calling everybody trying to figure out what's going on do you think that gavin secretly does this yes on his way he went to louisiana i think he's already there but let's say like he has a button on his computer and he just pushes it and he does this so that we realize how much we need him. we miss him yeah exactly because i needed him like i was trying to fix a problem and still like cut phone calls and move things around it was just lunacy betty was in the corner just crying she's like i don't know what to do it's so (laughs) bad Uh, it just yeah, and, but but I, I have to say we had the whole sticker chart conversation on Aftercast yesterday, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I have to say somebody better be getting a sticker out of this today. I didn't punch anything like mechanical wise. Do you I, see how low the bar is set? But it, he, but he it's didn't a bar. Punch anything? Yeah, but so it's he a bar. Gets a sticker. We got to build up. We got. But we at some start. point there needs to be a build up. Yeah, but for right now <laughs> this is where we're at, and so I, there better be a sticker on my sticker chart today. I, di- <sighs> I didn't. I didn't like yell too much like i wasn't i didn't yell for long i mean i was like ah this is frustrating me but like i didn't rant fine fine thank you and i regrouped and then uh got past it but gavin's not getting a sticker because he didn't come in he hosed us again i don't know what it is it it just it's the weirdest thing if you're out because betty rock has her own system of jobs too maybe you're the one you tried to throw gavin under the bus maybe you're the one when you're gone Mm -hmm. you sabotage it too because mm-hmm. whatever it is, when one of us is gone, something goes wrong in that person's world that then train wrecks all of yep. us. So Gavin is down with his family. He'll be back. Uh, Monday, we're going to be off uh, because it's a holiday, and so we're not working. And then Tuesday, up in the air. We have some crazy weather supposedly coming in on Monday, but yes. it, it's always 50-50 if they're yeah, right. Yeah, you never really know. The problem is is that the temperature is going to get down below, free, way below freezing. And so that's what worries me is it's not so much the snow, it's the ice that scares me because... Mm-hmm. Uh, last year, was it last year or two years ago, uh, I still came in and then an ice storm came through. We left early and I couldn't even make it home. Oh, yeah. And I said, never again. Yeah, I know. I'm not sacrificing my life. I'm not going to die right. for this company and for this show. Right. Or for the Lord. I'm not going to die for the Lord. The Lord has nothing to do with He does. It. Does he not have if nothing I to do with what we do every day? If I show up at the pearly gates <laughs> and he goes, trying to make it into work, I'm like, yeah. Be like, mm. Sucker. <laughs> no, you are the perfect example of those memes where it's like it shows somebody walking in flood water. Yeah. And they're like, I can't make it in, boss. But... I mean, you are, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, you are yeah. that person. Because <laughs> I always try to get in. Very rarely do I not make it in. Uh, but, like, so then they'll, they'll put me in a hotel around the corner so that, worst case scenario, I could walk in, um, you know, to get to work and stuff. But I, I just, this is how I was raised in doing this it was job. This is how I was raised. Well, no, in doing this wired, job. You know, yeah. like, it's just, it's just better than you. So. No, 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 no. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> you typically did your Betty thing where you just jump the gun and you overreact. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, yes, you're right. No, but I, what I was going to say mm-hmm. uh, before I was rudely, rudely interrupted <laughs> um, was I'm starting to see more of your point. On mm. things because like you you were talking to uh, this lady that works here, but you're right. Like say you say you're trying to come in and you end up putting your car in a ditch and it breaks your axle and stuff like that. The company doesn't do anything no. about that. You're gonna have to deal with your insurance yes. and all the headaches, all yes. because you were trying to get in when you could and have what are you to put prove? a best of show in. Exactly. And been fine. To me, it's right. It's a dumb argument. Well. And the other part of it is, too, if I'm the only one that gets in, because I've done that before, where you guys, you you had a horrific hill. You couldn't get mm-hmm. in or out of your place. I used to live in that apartment yeah, complex. it was rough. So I know it. I understand mm-hmm. it. And so I get that. Um, and Gavin, he's just scared of everything. And so, But like, he lives the furthest he's away. He's the furthest away, and he has much more treacherous driving yes. to get here. And so I've, I've come in by myself, and the show is not as good without... You guys here. And do you get anyone coming into the studio being like, 
Yeah, man, you showed them how it was done. Yeah, yeah, so, you, yeah, you like Pastor Chad. Man. Yeah, he he's here with me usually, and so <laughs> other other guys are here. Uh, <laughs> Fine, <yeah>. gloat, <laughs> do whatever you want to prove that you're no, a man. I just do whatever you got to do because I ain't doing it. But but to your point though, running a best of with the three of us here is better than running the show with just me doing a a scaled down show because we're on a network because this is the difference on the network. We go across all these other cities that they don't care about the weather. Like they're in Florida. Right. means nothing to them. Yeah, They have no idea. And so they're just getting a secondary show. Mm -hmm. When you do a local station and you're one station in a market, you're all sharing a common experience. Mm -hmm. And so you coming in and working on that day when other people are having to do that, you're speaking directly to those people. It's camaraderie, you know, and so it makes more sense. You're keeping people updated Mm because you're doing, you know, you're sharing what's going on. So it makes far more sense to do that. Mm -hmm. And so that's why, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to lean more towards uh, you, like your idea of always just taking days off. Uh, yeah, because I'm always <laughs> looking for that opportunity. I think we understand that. Yeah. I saw, that reminds me, I saw, let me read this because it, this is worth it uh, and you'll get a good kick out of it. Uh, it's going to take me long. You're fine. You're so... fine. I could do a magic trick on the. No, please okay. don't. Okay. All right. Well, I okay, got so a good th- one. Let me go to archive. Okay. Wow. We're going deep on this one. Mm-hmm. Is it a meme? Yes, and it's okay. hilarious. You are a meme girl for sure. Oh wait, I I didn't read or didn't read you this, and this is not the one I was thinking of. But it said you watch any Dateline, and you learn real quick. There's nothing more dangerous than quote lighting up a room. It's on every episode. That's why I don't light up anything. Oh. I make places <laughs> worse when I get there. And she just walked into any room and lit it up. Yeah, <laughs> and then that's always the person that goes missing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's, that's not funny. the one I was talking about. That's though. funny. Is it this one? No, that's not it. Uh, it was something about like a McDonald's machine. Oh, I would wholeheartedly. So <laughs> He's been. That. He came in earlier and he said. It smells like McDonald's in here. Why something, does it smell like McDonald's? Something in the office smelled like McDonald's. Like I don't now know. he's just making it up. I have no idea, but yeah, I'm <laughs> he's hungry. He's going through withdrawals. Yesterday, uh, we talked about the we talked about this on the show. Uh, I don't think we talked about it in the aftercast, but uh, yesterday Gavin broke down and went and bought some fries, and he gave some to Betty, and Betty took a handful of fries, and I go, "Can I just smell them?" And she put them in front of me, and I just I literally without thinking and just reaction just lunged forward and ate a whole bunch of them. <laughs> out of her hand and so she's laughing i'm laughing and then my wife happened to be here that day and my wife is doing the diet with me as well and she's like well you could have shared babe <laughs> like, i'm like really you want to baby bird this thing uh, like yeah seriously um, uh, okay. but that's how hungry i am right now yeah and i am too i think i'm gonna stop at chick-fil-a yeah i'm not because i got to i got all the way to friday tomorrow is my free day my cheat day <laughs> yes. and i got here and i got here well and i've actually lost some weight and i can feel it in my tummy um, and so he's like, starving and we, he's miserable. We That's how he knows. We didn't go to McDonald's yesterday because we talked about that because it smelled so good. Mm. We didn't eat at Sam's and get a, a hot dog because the hot dog's 500 calories. So I didn't do that. I went home and I had a half a ham sandwich. And so I'm like, okay, I felt accomplished. And I tried to tell my wife this yesterday. We were talking about this because uh, we talked to some other people that started taking that uh, a wingay or whatever, or like kind of like Ozempic? the Ozempic. Well, no, it's oh. the other version of it. Oh. Um, but I'm like, don't you feel better? Now, like that you beat like a really serious craving, you didn't give in versus just, you know, I say cheating, but uh, for some people, I think it's cheating for other people. It's not. Um, But like taking the shot uh, and like you, you accomplished that you didn't give in like that's a That's a good thing. And that makes not giving in next time, especially when you see things start to give you results, Uh, because I don't think I don't think I should take the shot. Because for me, I don't have any other issues going on that are precluding me from losing weight other than diet and exercise that Mm -hmm. I just, other than my own willpower. What if your kidney stones are because of your weight? Oh, then that would be great. If I lost more weight, yeah. Uh, But yeah, to take Ozempic and lose it faster, oh, that'd be great. (laughs) Look, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I don't care who takes it. I have no judgment on this. Zero judgment. You want to take it? Great. Knock yourself out. I'll be a little jealous. I'm not going to (laughs) lie. Uh, But for me, I'm like, okay, I just don't want to, I don't want to take that. You know, Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to see if I can get through it. Because the reality is, is once you stop taking it, your weight is going to come on. If you don't make lifestyle changes, Mm -hmm. it's going to come back. And they say Mm -hmm. it comes back even worse. Right. Uh, So that's, that's. That's a risk there, I'll tell you that. That's yeah. the drug companies know Blow that. That's up. why that's why they design it it's like that way. Like chapstick. It makes your cha- your lips more chapped, they yeah. say. Like it what? takes out the oils in your lip. Really? So you need it more. 
I never knew that. That's what I've heard, but oh. I don't know if there's any truth to it. Let me read this meme. Yes. The meme says, my goal is to be more like a McFlurry machine, accepted for being dysfunctional and celebrated when doing the bare minimum. Yes, exactly. That is my goal. That, well, I have to tell you, you are hitting your goal. Yay! Yeah, you are crushing it. Uh, this was a weird story, and it just proves the power of the pen. There was a couple who published a newsletter about eBay, and I guess there were unflattering stories that they had in there, and it caused some eBay employees to lose their ever-loving minds and get hyper-focused on these things. I, again, I don't know what they wrote. I don't know if it was defamatory or what, but these people at eBay went nuts to the tune of it cost them $3 million in a criminal penalty for a campaign of harassment and, uh, and intimidation undertaken by company executives against this couple. So you have a group of executives that are so mad about this uh, couple that is doing this uh, newsletter about eBay mm -hmm. that they resorted to home deliveries of bloody pig masks, <gasps> live insects like roaches, a funeral wreath. <gasps> like, I have to believe I could see these guys, like the executives, in a, either a boardroom or a locker room going, How funny would it be? We'll get them good, you know, and them going, Yeah, and high five in each other. Yeah, bro. Wow. And like, they literally did this to these people versus just ignoring it. Like, when you give it credibility and credence it grows why would you put yourself in a situation where you could be fined yes. for something for a company that could care less about you because they all lost their minds and then they all got they probably like all you. got yes and then they I, trust me i understand it. <laughs> like like that's why i'm saying like i get like how something can balloon on you and pretty soon you lose sight of what you're even doing and you're just trying to like one up things they literally <laughs> Uh, they uh, traveled to Massachusetts where this couple lives to surveil them and they installed GPS trackers on their car. Dang. Like, that is next level crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. So um, they uh, were terminated. eBay's like, hey, we're sorry. We didn't want to do this. <laughs> uh, but some of them have done jail time for this, and they should, honestly. Uh, today's settlement holds eBay criminally and financially responsible for emotionally and psychology, uh, psychologically and physically terrorizing the publishers of this thing, and we have no... Uh, we, we, that was not our intention, blah, blah, blah. Just a, a standard, we feel bad, we did everything to make it right, we're sorry, kind of thing. But man, that's crazy that they got $3 million for that. Out of eBay. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. What do you got, Lady Rock? So I found out about this couple that um, the, I say couple, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. They're 31 and 27. And the girl, the 27-year-old, she has alopecia, which means she doesn't have any hair. Oh, wow. That's a, They say Jada Pinkett Smith has that, too. Remember, mm -hmm. because Chris Rock made the joke <laughs> about G.I. Jane, and then he got slapped by Will Smith. Keep my wife's name <laughs> out your mouth. Um, so she has alopecia, and her boyfriend volunteered it. He, he's the one that thought of the idea. He was like, you know what? What if I grew out my hair for you, uh -huh. and we made a wig out of it? I love it. What a great idea. What a great idea. He asked her, how long would you want your hair? And she was like, I love long hair, so the longer the better. He grew it out for four years, and it got to over two feet long. Good for him. Yeah, and... He they started they start he started growing his hair out only six months into them dating. Oh, he's like okay, this he's is really how into it. I'm into you, and I want to make sure you never leave me because every time you put this wig on, you will think of me for the rest of your You're life. Wearing my hair, yeah, that's really smart. <laughs> so he started growing his hair out. She was just oh, she thought that was just the sweetest thing. He takes online to he looks at online tutorials to figure out how he can best. Keep his hair from Healthy. being damaged. Yeah. Yes, he wear he would wear a silk bonnet to bed Ooh. to prevent breakage. Okay, this is a little much going above and beyond. Yeah. So, anyways, after four years, they decide okay, it's gotten long enough, and so they cut it. And she's and they made a wig out of it. There's a picture of her with it on, and uh, she said, "quote I felt loved and so much love for him. Sure. It makes me feel very comforted and safe to know I have someone in my life who is willing to go this extra mile and go above and beyond." Now he says, "quote 
There's no way she can break up with me now. Yep, there it is. <laughs> See, very different pro- approaches to that situation. Uh, you showed me, Betty Rock showed me the picture of uh, this lovely couple, and we both had the same reaction. She, like, she, look, based solely on the pictures, 100%. which is, is very shallow, based on her picture, I would give her, out of 10, I would say she's an 8. Yeah, I think that's fair. A no, take the nose ring out and maybe lose a couple tattoos, maybe even an 8.5. Yeah, she's very pretty. He looks like he runs a VHS video store rental service yes. in the back of his van. Yes, or a comic book store. Yes. I would give him... Yeah, where did you put him at? Honestly. Is it, it's it's sub five, isn't it? <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a two. Oh, a two. I thought you might even be nice and go three. Oh. That, that is me being kind. Wow. Bless him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So the fact that he did this for her is great. Yeah. But he definitely has outkicked his coverage. And so <laughs> you definitely, at that point, you're like, but absolutely, I will grow think, hair for like, you. You had long hair back in your younger days. Yeah. And let's say you had chopped it off and- your girlfriend, mm-hmm. you were going to give it to her to wear as a wig. Yeah. Would you expect her never to break up with you Absolutely. again? Absolutely. And if she did break up with you, what would she have to do to make it up to you? Oh, no, there's no breaking up. Like this, oh, is, this is If I can't have yeah. you, no one will. This That's what an, psychos yeah, say. This isn't an on dateline. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't light up a room, yeah, folks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, no, I there would be an expectation of, like, but see, you can't give gifts with strings attached. Mm-hmm. But that that gift definitely has strings attached, man. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, do you have any birthdays for us? I do. I have a couple because. Uh, I don't remember if we said this or not. We will not be here Monday. Yes. Monday is a holiday for the company, and so none of us will be here. And then Monday, we're supposed to get about three inches of snow and ice. And they so just don't. In Tennessee, they do we not don't handle know what it we're well. Doing. It's and so bad. And they, they put brine on the roads, which I've been told they don't do that in the, in the north. Oh, really? That in the north, they do something different. Oh. Or maybe we put salt on the roads. Yeah. Okay, salt can just... Sure. melt away where yeah. they put brine and i think it's like sand and all kinds of oh. stuff but we don't have they know how to that. do it up so north we just, yeah we just do salt they want their kids in school uh so that they can become yeah, they'll something go when someday. there's like three feet of snow they're like eh, yeah in tennessee nah. it's like i saw i saw a flag and it was it was kind of tr- quivering a little bit <laughs> So it seems like there's some wind. We're gonna we're gonna shut her down. Today. Uh, yeah, my knee is hurting, and <laughs> yeah. usually that means there's ice. You know what? Let's just shut her down. Let's just, just, shut just it to all be down. safe. Look, these kids aren't gonna amount to anything anyway. <laughs> like, let's just call it. <laughs> uh, so that's why we have a few extra um, birthdays that we're celebrating. Jensen Lee. Oh, hey, to, Jensen. Wants to give a shout out to his to the family. Said uh, I want to give a shout out for my amazing family. I've been through. I've been through a rough few years, and they're always there to help support me and love me. The Lee family is awesome. Oh, that's cool. I have an email sitting on my desktop from Jensen that I haven't read yet. Oh, uh, well, there you go. Yes, yeah, so I got to get to that today. Happy, cool family, uh, Jensen. Uh, Patrick wants to wish his wife, Kathy, a happy birthday. Said she's a school secretary, and she knows everyone. Uh, question, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? <sighs> yes, lots. How many? Mm. Average. I used to get more when I was younger. I haven't gotten one in a while, knock on wood. Um, I think some of the worst ones I got were one time I had another, I had my daughter and then her friend in the car, like, and they were young, and I felt bad getting a speeding ticket with someone else's kid in the car, but it wasn't like I was flying. I literally went to a place where it was 45, mm-hmm. and then it and, it, and it, and I was doing 50, so I was five over, and then it shifted to 35 and i had no idea and i was literally right at that line and and the Mm -hmm. cop was like you know back there at the burger king i'm like the one (laughs) like five feet from here he's like yeah switch to 35 they're like oh gee okay and mm-hmm. so that one I got. Remember that time you were going out to get pizza because you didn't want to pay the extra yes! to get it delivered? And then you yes! got pulled over for a ticket and yep. you had to pay for that instead? Uh, yeah, and I got the ticket. I those thought I was going to so, get away. Those are great memories. Oh, I thought I was going to get a warning on that one. And even I heard a car like peeling out like... <laughs> and you know that person was flying. And I just looked at the cop and I'm like, you want to go get that? <laughs> He's like, no, we'll just finish up here. I'm like, I think I'd go get that if I were you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I've gotten one speeding ticket. I've been, you did? I've been stopped twice for speeding. The other was a warning. Oh, you've only been, have you, is that the only, you've only been stopped twice? Yes, praise the lamb. Have no, you been I in got, one accident? Were you in an accident yeah, oh, when yeah. you were younger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, <laughs> oh, been, yeah. In, I've been in two accidents. 
two accidents? Yeah. Two. I can see that. They weren't my fault. Oh, really? I can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, Jonathan, uh, he's celebrating his birthday uh, tomorrow. Happy 20th birthday, Jonathan. Nice. Happy early 20th birthday. And then Rain wants mm. to wish a Dad Allen a happy early birthday, celebrating on the 15th. Said he's a hard-working fourth-degree black belt nice. in Taekwondo. Nice. And he can fix anything. I like uh, I'd like to request the birthday song. Happy birthday, birthday from all of us to you. Would you want a birthday so we can party too? Hey! There you go. Uh, would you rather go oh. barefoot for a year or go without your phone for a year? Oh, barefoot. 100%. <laughs> without even thinking. Without even he thinking. He can't even be in, a, in another room without his phone. He's he, got a problem. I thought I left it in my car today. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to go outside. It's cold, but I got to go outside and get my phone. <laughs> Fortunately, it was just under something on my desk. So I'm like, Ooh. <laughs> But I wasn't right until I got it back. Um, I would go barefoot as well yeah. because I don't really mind. I mean, I just wouldn't walk. I'd when you like, get home, do you take your shoes off? Yeah. Do you take your socks off? No. Okay, yeah. I keep socks on because my I get cold easy. Sure. I get home and I... Because you're a psycho. I think yeah. we've decided this. I leave my shoes on. <laughs> you leave your shoes till on. Till I go to bed. <laughs> uh, the other day I, I came home and it was cold outside. I stayed in my coat in my house <laughs> all the way till we went to Why? I don't know my wife kept going well, why don't you take your coat off I'm like well I'm actually kind of comfortable right now you keep it really cold in here I actually feel good I and then so I come home I'm going to spend all afternoon in my house and then it's like oh time to go to a small group and I go to get my coat I'm like oh I'm still wearing it <laughs> what do y'all set the thermostat to like 71 like something like that it's set oh, to oh wow mine set at 67 yeah like and it's still my house is cold for some reason huh. My house stays really cold, and I don't know why. Interesting. So, Maybe yeah. it's your cold heart. Oh, that's 100% it. Yeah, for I sure. Don't, I don't know. Let me ask that. you a question. When you wake up in the morning yeah. and you go to the bathroom, get yeah. ready or whatever, are your shoes sitting there right by the bed for you to put on so you can go to the bathroom? No. My shoes sit by the tub because uh, I sit on the tub, the edge of the tub, to get ready. But is that the first thing you do? And uh, then no. you brush your, te- your no, teeth? No. First and- thing I do. No. First thing I do is I... Oh wait, no! I walk in, I turn on the water. We've talked about this. Oh, because you need because I don't have want my hands. <laughs> I don't want my hands to hit cold water. So I turn on the water. <laughs> then I sit on the tub, and the first thing I do is put on my socks ah. because I want my socks to keep my feet warm on the tile. But you don't put on your shoes. No. But then, you have to have your shoes on all the time. Well, you no. said you take them off. Well, I put on my socks, but then I have to put pants on, which I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> oh, sure you're true. happy about. So I put <laughs> on my goodness. pants. Uh, good thing I don't get this out of order and then show up one day. Uh, oh, my gosh. That reminds me. I li- li- I really did. I almost walked out of the house this morning with my shark shoes on. Oh. I have these shark like, flip <laughs> Slipper. flops. Oh, yeah. And they have little fins and little eyeballs and everything. And I was just about to walk out, and I was like, Wait a minute. Probably should put these, change these. <laughs> that would have been funny. It's but no, then I put my day. shoes on and then I stand up to brush my teeth. But yeah, so my, okay. shoes, my shoes go on uh, in the morning, like right away. That is so weird. Yeah, I don't know. Are you thinking you're going to, you need to prepare for something that's coming your way? Like you want to be ready to run? No, I just, it's just, I don't know. I'm just wired that way. I do notice when I don't wear shoes though, it's <laughs> the strangest thing. Um, I roll my foot. I stand on the outside of my foot. Um... Like, like on the on the outside edge of my right uh-huh. foot, the inside where my arches is up in the air. I stand on the side of it for some reason when I don't have shoes on, and I have no idea why. It's I guess I've done it my whole life, and so when I put my shoes on, it puts my foot back flat on the ground because hmm. it starts to bother my knee. So, and I have no idea why I do it. Psycho. Or that's just the way my my legs work. I guess I don't. Know. Or you're psycho. <laughs> there is that. <laughs> All right, with that. <sighs> We can plans, we can plans, every set of we can plans. All right, Gavin is coming back. He's trying to uh, race home and beat the weather on Sunday because, again, it's supposed to be bad here Monday. Uh, Lady Rock, weekend plans. Tonight I am going to a friend's house, uh, making dinner, going to hang out. It'll be fun. I'm so glad you're getting to do this because yesterday uh, she had to take, uh, the plumber came and she was supposed to go last night to her friends and they moved it because the plumber uh, had to, Plum, something he could not even believe he was having to plumb in her house. No, No, you didn't let me finish. (laughs) Okay, go ahead. Uh, The plumb, like a root ball, got to. That's what he called it, a root ball. Yeah, and he he couldn't even believe it. So, how he explained (laughs) it to me was that it's roots from the local 
plants that they grow towards the water. Uh, and so I guess a big ball of them. In the drain field or something. Clogged yeah. it all up. Yeah, that's what we're going with. That's what he told me, Wally. He was being nice to you because oh, he's like, oh, up. she's a cute young lady. <laughs> you know, we had a root ball. It just plugged things up. What is that? Well, it's a ball of... <laughs> Root? Uh, sounds you're, like you're poop, a jerk. But <laughs> anyway, so I couldn't do the plans that I had last night. I'm glad you but guys moved. Thankfully, we were able to move it to tonight. So I'm doing that tonight. Then tomorrow, my parents are driving down here to me, and we're oh, going nice. to go out to eat. Oh, where are you going? Uh, uh, that Chop House place. Oh, you like that Orlando Chop House, I think, something like that. Or not, not Orlando. Yeah, Orlando. Is, no, it's not Orlando. No. Uh, And then Sunday is church, and then Monday, I'm planning to do nothing because it is going to be a high of 27, I think. Right. And that's just too cold for me. Okay. Uh, Let me see. I am, today, will be focused on not undoing my diet for Friday so that I can weigh in (laughs) for Saturday. every bit of energy he has. That's all I'm going to spend time (laughs) thinking about today. It's about cheat day tomorrow. What are you going to cheat with? Everything tomorrow is going to be a you bad day. You can't do that. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a bad day. No, you're not. I've already called Oprah because she does Weight Watchers too, and I've told her, look, it's going to be bad. I want all the garlic bread. Oh. I want all the pasta. Yeah. I want McDonald's, yeah. and then I want Longhorn. I want a McDonald's Coke. I'll get a coffee in the morning. It's going to be <laughs> glorious. Uh, and then Sunday I'll be sad because uh, I'll be back on it. Monday I'll be sad and cold. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so no, it's like th- that's the thing. Like Fridays, because we get off earlier, and then I have all day, and then like my wife and I like to do things Friday night. Like we would go out or something like that to dinner or whatever. And so it, that that's harder. And so we're gonna cook something tonight in, and probably do a Lego thing that we like or play canast or something. I don't know. So we're just hanging out inside. Uh, but then tomorrow I'm going out to dinner with some friends, and then doing a uh, like a bougie putt putt. In Nashville, uh, my friend of mine, uh, Eric, was like, hey, we should go do this. I'm like, all right, let's go. And so what's funny about this, though, is Eric is like, hey, do you guys want to go? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. I'm like, what? let the girls figure it out. Uh, so I just threw it off to Marty and, and Eric's wife, Rachel. Mm-hmm. Well, she calls Marty. I was sitting at the house, and she's like, for some reason, Eric gave me this to do. He's the planner. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm sorry. That's me. Because the Marty's the planner. Family, right. Yeah, and I'm like, and Marty's like, well, why didn't Eric just call me? And she's like, oh, no, he didn't want to do that. And I'm like, he can do that. It's totally fine. Like, that's that's how Greg and Marty plan our vacations, <laughs> is, is Molly and I just show up like, this is great. <laughs> and they've figured everything out, yeah. you know. And so I'm like, because I didn't want to deal with plans. Marty knows my my off time schedule far better than I do and thinks of everything I don't think you of. You need a babysitter constantly. I really do. So it's her at home, you at work. <laughs> Everybody's got me covered. It's great. Uh, all right. Well, that's going to do it for our aftercast for today. And again, no Monday aftercast and maybe Tuesday. We just don't know. Tuesday, yeah. it's a game Play time it decision. By ear. Could yeah. be Wally by himself. That yeah, could be. Yeah, I'll be here. And, don't he, worry. and please, if it is, be sure to call into the show and tell him how manly yes. and how impressed you are yep. that he put his life yep. on the line. That you to appreciate be here. it. Yeah. For this show. Yeah. I mean, I could wreck my car and I would still come in here. I would, he would. get here. He well, would. think about this. Remember Darren Mulligan from We Are Messengers? Yeah. The last ice storm we had? Yeah. Flipped his truck. <laughs> flipped it on the side of the road. I saw this truck. I'm like, oh man, that is bad. He walks away from it. Someone stops him. They drive him to the airport, not the hospital, and he goes and plays the weekend of shows. Yeah, then comes but that back. Makes sense. Why does that make sense? Because you can't put in a best of concert. Like, he's already got the money. There's a plane that's waiting on him. Like, all that makes complete sense. I guess. But this situation, you can just plug in a best of show. What yeah. is, what's, what's the. Mm, I know, I know. But it I, hurts your. Hurts my pride. Your pride. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's yeah. all pride. All right. Well, that's going to do it for your aftercast. Thanks for being a potty.